What is up guys, Silver Warrior here, and today I want to discuss, or I guess ask the question first, you know, inquire, would be probably a better word, are you prepared for a silver price collapse? And, you know, I think there's a simple way to realize if you are or not, so just answer these few questions, you know, and I'll tell you uh, whether, you know, you are prepared or not based on your answers. So first question here would be, you know, how much of your stack is uh, generic boolean, right? Or is your stack just mostly generic boolean and or junk silver? If the answer is yes, then you might not be prepared for a silver price collapse. Um, another good question, I guess, or another good thing to consider is, you know, um, do you have a plan, like, in, you know, do you have a plan set for what you'll do if silver price collapses? And if you don't, then you might want to make one because, trust me, it can be very, very important. You know, the price has collapsed in the past, especially after a bubble, which, with all the economic turmoil going on right now, who says the price won't bubble and then c collapse? You know, once the manipulation comes back into play and that and the market gets flooded as prices start to fall down with more and more silver, they will collapse. And you have to be prepared for that because... You know, if you have something big come up, right, and you're thinking, you know, I'll just sell silver if I have, uh, you know, a big emergency come up. If you don't have any cash on hand, and you know, let's say you made a big silver purchase. You're like, well, this is a great deal. I'm just going to use the money that I was saving up for, you know, emergencies on silver because of this amazing deal. And, you know, if anything comes up, I'll just sell my silver real fast. I can liquidate it pretty quickly. Well, what if you can't? What if the price collapses and no one wants to buy your generic bullion? And the ones who do, you know, silver is only $10 an ounce. Do you really want to take such a huge loss? I mean, obviously you wouldn't sell if you didn't have to, but what's to say you won't? I mean, what if something comes up? Or what if the price, I mean, you know, for over two years, the price was uh, below, you know, if you'd bought in April of 2014, for like around two years, if, over two years, the price was below what it was then. You know, and still, it hasn't quite reached that point peak, I mean, unless you manage to sell right when the price peaked at $21 an ounce like a week ago, unless you manage to do that, you know, and you manage to get the money as if the price were $21 an ounce, you still have not seen your money back, even with silver prices, quote unquote, you know, bubbling or whatever, it still has not gone as high as it was then, you know, so you think about that, things can happen, I mean, you can be buying in a situation where you're paying more than what silver is going to be worth for the next 10 years. I mean, of course, right now, you you know, we had the chance to buy silver at an all-time low. Or not all-time, but, you know, a, a little low for several years. You know, thirteen ninety one an ounce was lower than it had been in a very long time. So, we had a chance to buy at a lower price than we might ever see again. But, you know, you might be buying at a, a price that's higher than we'll see for a very long time, too. So, you don't know if you're going to be able to get your money back on your Derek Bullion. And therefore, you're going to want to have some other stuff in your stack besides just generic bullion one piece or one type of silver i should say i would definitely recommend is uh numismatically valuable constitutional silver that stuff is great i mean you know everybody can recognize it as a coin right i mean everyone knows what a coin is everybody's dealt with coins before just about at least everyone who lives in a first world nation has and so you'll know i mean that at least to an extent what it is you know as opposed to something like let me just uh, get these coins out. You know, something like these coins. Not everybody's dealt with these before, so these might be a little bit harder to offload. And surely there's a market for them. People love these coins, but at the end of the day, you know, not everybody wants them. As opposed to, or not everybody. I should, not, should, should just say wants them, but knows what they are. As opposed to, you know, something like. I mean, this design's different, but people, you know, something like this, people still know what a silver dollar is, or at least what a dollar coin is. Everybody's heard of that, and they all know that, you know, this is at least, at least recognize it, I should say. Like I said, maybe they won't necessarily desire it, but they'll at least know what they're looking at, as opposed to an American Eagle or something like that. And I'm not saying that, you know, the higher premium uh, government mint, minted uh, bullion is not a good investment. I personally obviously have a couple pieces of it. But at the same time, you know, I feel like it's going to be faster uh, to just get rid of a bunch of peace than Morgan dollars. 
as opposed to trying to get your money back on those because that eagle cost me like 85 bucks which I don't know how quickly I'd be able to see that back on it you know what I mean it might take a little bit of a while probably take a 10 day auction on eBay just to get that money back I wouldn't be able to go to a pawn shop they wouldn't quite recognize what it is you know it'd have to be a huge market for you know to find the few people that actually know why that coin's worth ninety dollars. So therefore I would definitely say that junk silver would be the easiest to offload in an emergency situation. Or just you know in a situation where the silver price has collapsed you just don't want to sell in your generic bullion because you'll be losing a insane amount of money. I'd say that's the best thing to have. But that's just my thoughts on it. Let me know yours in the comment section below. And that is it for this one. I don't know if you guys would prefer me to say uh, Silver Warrior out or peace, love, and much respect. That's the uh, old saying. I don't know which one you guys want. So comment below which one you guys would prefer, and I'll start saying it. All right. That's it for this one. Bye.